Hello everybody, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman. No over here we have John Lewandowski. How hey, you doing, John? Pretty good. Been a long day of recording, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've been at this for a while now. Uh, this is our final grading video for the uh, month of June. We will have some more coming towards the end of July. We're going to be doing these in the end of the month, um, every month. So. Uh, some of these you may see in early July. Uh, we do apologize if we don't get them out right away. Right. Um, you know, uh, we got a lot coming up with the holidays. Uh, my birthday's coming up, his wedding anniversary. Yeah. Um, I got uh, some uh, racing stuff to get to attend to. So um, we got a lot going on. Uh, come on out uh, Sundays to Slinger Speedway and yeah. support us uh, and uh, TNT Racing, who also supports us. Uh, yeah. Our logo's on their car. Um, also supports Slinger Speedway, a local business. Um, yep. They're well. Uh, they're doing really well for themselves right now. A lot of race tracks are. Yes. Um, uh, but uh, we're uh, speaking of sponsors and uh, things that are hopefully doing well. Um, check out our sponsor, Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585. Or visit their website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. Milos will take good care of you for all your hockey needs, figure skating needs, roller hockey needs, you name it, they got it. But why we're here, ECHL home jerseys. Yep. Home jerseys. Now, alternate jerseys are a little more complicated because not every team has them, so we're not going to be doing those until right. every team does. Yeah. It makes it really complicated, and some teams discontinue theirs yep. and for a few years and then come up with something else. It's just... But home jerseys and road jerseys relatively stay the same. Yeah. So we're going to start here with the Atlanta Gladiators. Well, this is an interesting photo. Mm -hmm. This came from their website. This is the, uh, their, their jerseys are made by AK. Okay. Um, their uh, their primary sponsor is Kroger. <laughs> um, they are the affiliate to Boston. Um, they look like Thrasher's jerseys that got chucked. That and they just put their logo on it. That literally is what it looks like. Yeah. Um, but for them. Thumbs up. Yeah, I give that an A. I would too. It, it is a really nice looking jersey. I, I wouldn't. I, I, I'm back to the not liking all yellow, but that's their home jersey. Yo. Yeah. All righty, Allen Americans. The Allen Americans uh, play in Texas. Uh, they were second in the league to the Florida Blades this year, okay. and. Uh, their jerseys look nice, good straight lines, thin. Almost well, like a racing suit, but on a jersey. Yeah. Minus all the sponsors. Right. <laughs> they, they only got one up here. <laughs> but uh, no, nice jersey, clean, nicely looking. Yeah. Got the Texas flag on the shoulder, I see. Yeah. Um, I'd give it an A. Yeah, it's an A. There's going to be a lot of those, I think, in this. I think so. Uh, ECHL has some really nice jerseys. If we went through each team's specialty jerseys, it, it, it'd just be... We could be talking for months. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, what? Florida had seven. Jacksonville had ten. Yeah, we'll right. be doing, like, four-hour videos. But, uh... Next up is the Adirondack Thunder. Um... It looks nice. It does. It, it looks a little plain, but AK yet again makes these jerseys for most of them. Right. Um, they're a good jersey company. They will do custom jerseys, so if you're looking for somebody to make you a jersey for you custom, like with a picture of your family or whatever, AK will do it. Um, it costs a bit. I think it's like 500 bucks, but um, I was looking into it for us. But Reliable quality. Yeah, you get a reliable quality and game ready. Right. Um, I give this a B. I it, would too. It's 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 solid. It's a little weird with a white line on the outdrop, but right. that's why it gets a B. 
Alright, up next we got the Tulsa Oilers, much like the Allen Americans, yet again the, the straight line. I would have much liked a blue line going across the bottom of this jersey. Yeah. But other than that, the logo makes sense with the hard hat. It does, yeah. It all looks clean. Uh, yet again, AK has their little logo right here on the chest. Uh, another look, nice look. Yeah. Um, they do very well. Yeah, another B. Because I would say. Without the line, it would have been an A. With the line, it would have been an A. All right. On to the Toledo Walleye. Whoa. That is a nice looking jersey. Yeah, it is. That that the 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 light the, the yellow in the in the uh, the string cut, yeah. And all the lines are clean. They blend well into the rest of the jersey. Like if you see the lines, they all yeah. look crisp and Yo. clean. That's an A. That's an A. All righty. The South Carolina Stingrays. This is one of those that you could have done more. Yeah. Not being biased here because they knocked us out of the playoffs or anything. But after seeing them on ice too, there's you could have done more. Yeah, you could have done a lot. You know, you could have had the Stingray. The logo could even be better. Right. You know, I'm I'm just, I'm speaking all over on this one that it, it, there's a lot more you could do from a graphic design point. Right. As me and you both have our hand in graphic design. Yeah. You know, we talk about it every day. <laughs> right. So, for us, and for Florida, Milwaukee, and Nashville, when we do photos. Right. By the way, I hope you guys are all enjoying our seven days of independence, uh, our wallpapers. Yeah. Um, John made them all, so if y'all want to comment on our videos and thank him, we, you're more than welcome. He'll appreciate it, too. <laughs> yeah. I, I give that a C. I would, too, just based on the fact there's a lot more to do. Whoa, the Reading Royals. I swear it looks like they're sponsored by Crown Royal. And this is a PNG photo, so it looks really cool how we got it to work. Right. Looks like I'm getting punched in the face here, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. And they do that. And John magically reappears. <laughs> But we'll go here with it. That way we're both getting punched there in the head. There we go. <laughs> yeah. All righty. So with that, um, I do like the look. I do too. Straight lines, orange. I don't, I've never liked white on the bottom under the underline. Right. But, I mean, for this, I it understand. It blends well. It, it blends really well. Blends. This is an A jersey. A. No. All righty. We have up next. Whoa. I got to blow that one up. The Rapid City Rush. Rapid City Rush. Yep. Um, this is their home jersey. It looks clean. Reminds me of an old Sabres jersey. Yeah. It looks great. Yeah. Oh, well, looks nice. It's simple. B. But it blends nice and well. B is over here as well. Yeah, I give it a B just based off of the solidness of it all. Yeah. Now, some of these photos, I could not find their home jersey picture. So sometimes I had to use game pitchers. Right. This is uh, Garrett Sparks, former Chicago Wolf. Um, he uh, played for them this last season. Um, wonderful jersey. I've always liked Orlando's jerseys, even when they were in the eye. Yeah. Uh, not a big fan of the orange, but it makes sense. It does. Because of Florida and all the oranges. Right. Down there. <clears throat> you know, uh, Really nice color scheme. You got the 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 like the ocean blue with some purple. Yeah. And, and you know it, it just looks amazing. Um, now if only we could get back to a solar bear in a space suit, that was really cool. Okay. But I give it an A. I would too. This one is a little. I think they overdid it with certain colors and underdid it with others. Right. This is the Newfoundland Growlers, one of the few teams in Canada. Um, I like it because of the gold and the black and the white and all the lining of yeah. the shoulders. It, it just blends well. It does. Especially with the logo. Um, well done. Um, 
I give it a, I give it, I give it a B. I would too. I mean, like we said at the beginning of our video, there aren't many bad ECHL judges. No. Alrighty, we've got the Norfolk Admirals, former affiliate of us. Mm -hmm. Alright, so because they were the former affiliate of us, they took the Preds colors yeah. and then dropped the Preds. Well, the Preds dropped them. Right. Not going to get into that. We have a video on our YouTube about um, about them, the, them embezzling money out of uh, Norfolk, which is why they're an independent team at the current moment. Yeah. Um, as far as the jersey goes, good jersey. It is. You know, I'm, I, uh, like we said, whatever the past, we leave it there, unbiased. Yep. Good jersey, looks clean, kind of reminds me of a current Sabres jersey. Like with yeah. the lines and then the color scheme and everything. I give it a B. I would too. Uh, it, it's not an A quality jersey, No. but it's not a B. No. It's, or not a C. Sorry. Not a C either. The Maine Mariners. The Maine Mariners, um, relatively newer team, uh, they kind of would, if it were me, okay, that trident would be the perfect thing for the Seattle Kraken as a secondary uh, logo. Right. If Seattle needs an ECHL team, that's where I would go. Right. It, it's just that simple. Um, it, it looks like a nice jersey, clean, simple, old school. Right. Um, I give it a B again. I love it, it. It's clean. It's fair. Looks like the player is having a lot of fun. Yeah. Maybe got three star, third star of the game, first star of the game. <laughs> All right, KC Mavericks. Oof. They are the affiliate of the uh, Calgary Flames. <sighs> With that home jersey, the gray and the white and I'm pretty sure the lighting's not helping. <laughs> no. Uh, but this was the only home photo I could find. Yeah. So at the time looking at it, just even with the lighting it right. looked like it would be cool under the blue lighting and everything. Right. Yeah. You know, just the arena style logos yeah. and, and the orange and the, and the grays. It brings out everything. It does. You know, yeah. under, under the lights it would bring out everything. I, I remember one time I was at an Admirals game and I took a picture and all the little outlines turned white. Right. Like yeah. they popped like it was like a neon setting and, and it was really nice. Um, I give this a B. Almost right. an A. I'd say a B. Alright, let's go a little old school for us. Oof. The Kalamazoo K-Wings. Back in the old IHL days, their colors were green and white. Yeah. You know, now they're blue and red. Um. Not the biggest fan of these. They're no. very plain. They're not as cool as they used to be. Right. Um. But that's just us. Um. I think that that's really cool that they're still around. It is. But you know. I it, have to say a C. It, it is a C. It's not a fail. No. But it's a C. Jacksonville Iceman. The Jacksonville Tebows. Tim Tebow does own the team, so don't think I'm just cracking jokes. because of Jaguars? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. He does own part of the team. So it's not just the, the whole joke of them playing for the Jaguars. He actually does own part of the Iceman. He does. As far as their jersey goes, simple, solid. Works, it'll sell. It's a day. It is. All right, now we get to the Indy Fuel. Whoa. Indy Fuel are the affiliate of the Chicago Blackhawks. And from the look of this, you can kind of tell. Kind of tell. <laughs> um. They're also the affiliate of the Rockford Ice Hogs, which is probably where that orange comes in. Um, I like it. It's simple. The neck is confusing. I like that. You don't see that a lot anymore. No. It was a style that was for around for maybe two, three years, ten plus years ago. And then it just kind of faded out. Yeah, I think Atlanta was the last ones to use it. 
if I'm remembering correctly, with that blue and uh, like yellow jersey they had with uh, their alternate, with the yeah. it went around the neck. Yep, that was the only one I could remember ever seeing that on. Um, but I give it a, a, a B. I would too. It's not perfect because you could have done more with. If you're doing that to the neck, you could do that to the sleeves. Right. The Idaho Steelheads. That is really cool. Look at the the tree and the jersey. Do you see the trees? And yep. And, and, and it's really cool how they made all this work for them. It is. Um. With that being said, um, I'm not 100 percent sold on it, but it is what it is. Yeah. All right. Alrighty, so uh, with that all about this, uh, we got a. Uh, I give it an A. Yeah, I would too. I, I mean, I really do like the trees. It's a nice touch. They did exactly what you needed them to do as yeah. far as a uh, uh, home jersey. They did. And trust me, some of these are going to get a different ranking when we go through the logos and right. stuff like that. Yeah. The Greensville Swamp Rabbits. I love that logo. <laughs> it's a carrot with a hockey stick. It's a yeah, rabbit it's with a carrot cool. and a hockey stick. As far as that, they wrap, they bring their colors in really well. They do. And uh, it looks nice. It's a B. I'd give it a B. Alrighty. On to the Fort Wayne Comets. They're another I, old IHL team. We are familiar with quite a bit. Oh, well, Jersey hasn't changed much over the years. No. Uh, it's still a B. Could do better on the logo. Yeah. But still a B. They make it work for them. They do. Maybe you can make your jersey work for you. All right. Florida Everblades. I could have picked a way better photo. I have like a million of their jersey photos. Alrighty. As far as their jersey goes, it would be an A. Would be. Had you not had the circle logo. The circle logo throws everything with straight lines off. It generally does, yeah. I love the tea sleeves. I love I the colors. It's, it's amazing how they do this. We've had a blast covering the Everblades. Of course, But yeah. just take, get rid of the circle and put your big logo on the front. And I still would like to see some workage of like a hockey stick being broken in the mouth. Yeah, kind of like the old, cool. uh, the old, like we talked about the Verse Verse Retro with the Sharks. Right, yeah. Which they did do. All righty. On to another former affiliate. Cincinnati, Cincinnati Cyclones. What a beautiful jersey. Kind of miss their old colors, though. Yeah, I miss their old colors, but what it looks, It is a very well done jersey. Yeah, I mean, it literally looks like a cyclone hit that jersey. Right. And they just painted it and, and went with it, and it, it looks amazing from how they did it. Yeah. So, I, I give it an A. I would, too. I like their uh, alternate. I've seen that. I used to design my hockey teams around that base logo. Alright, last but not least, the Utah Grizzlies. Now, Utah, one thing, please get a picture of your home jersey up on your store shop. Uh, because nope. it's lacking. Yeah, it's it's, there's, nothing, it's, there's nothing there. It's just like a blank and another. Right. But we did find this in your wallpaper, so thank you. Thank you. Um, not the greatest view of the jersey, but um, looking at it, um, the colors blend well. They do. Um, I miss the old 96 Utah Grizzlies with the grizzly bear claw going across right, the chest. Yeah. And all of, you know, but in modern day, it's, it's, it's a good jersey. It's clean. It's fair. It's an A. Yeah. But with that being said, this has been all of our grading videos. Hope you guys enjoy them, and uh, more to come in the months ahead. More to come in the months ahead. We are going to space these out a bit because we don't got all the time in the world. 
Mm -hmm. um, these videos can range anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour. Yeah. Uh, arena videos will take longer because me and him like talking about architecture. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so if we're going to be talking about arenas, note it because um, for the NHL particularly, we're doing inside and outside two separate videos. Right. So because we, it, it it just has to be that it way. Has to be. Yeah. There's there's no way to match them up together. So with that being said, um, we will be seeing you guys later. Hope you guys enjoy our live content. Yeah.